guys and girls i got a life hack for you this is for all of you that have pontoon boats or aluminum boats um and i'm tired of spending so much money on the cleaning supplies to clean the aluminum when you can go right down to dollar general or family dollar or walmart and just go buy some cheap toilet bowl cleaner and i'm gonna show you how good this stuff works so here's the river scum on the side of my boat and i mean this stuff is nasty and you can scrub it this has already been washed once this stuff just does not come off and this is what we're going to use today uh you can use the works you can use the dollar general brand family dollar brand it doesn't matter just get you some cheap toilet bowl cleaner and a sp uh, empty spray bottle pop the top off dump it in the spray bottle and go to work hey guys you're gonna have to bear with me just take it pour it in a spray bottle and then i'm doing this one-handed so just bear with me just do you a small section spray it on real good And then we're just going to let it sit for about a minute. See, it's already starting to foam up in some areas. Get everything coated really good. All right. All right there's good. On this right here, we're just going to let it sit here for about a minute. This is no scrubbing, no nothing. All right, now this stuff is set here for a minute. I'm just going to hose it off. Sorry about my bad camera skills. Now for the really bad spots, like right up here, might take a second coat, sometimes a third. Now we're going to rinse that good. And always make sure you rinse your bunks and your trailer off because you don't want that stuff sitting on the paint of your trailer. You don't want it to stay there. All right. Already quite a bit better. Now let's do a second coat. We'll give it all another spray. Now we're going to let that sit for a minute, and I'll be right back. All right, here we go on round two, and just letting it sit there for a couple minutes on the second batch. It's already almost gone. Let's rinse it off. Now this does work a lot better with a pressure washer. But you don't need one. 
regular water hose will work. Now I have found that the Dollar General brand toilet bowl cleaner works better than the works brand. But when I went this afternoon to go get some, they were all sold out. And the only type of toilet bowl cleaner they had was the works brand. So that was like $2.50 a bottle. If you go get the Dollar General brand, they're normally like a dollar a bottle. A dollar a bottle versus 70 or 80 dollars a gallon. I mean, you do the math. Alright. And now all we need to do, give it a second to drip dry, and then we'll come back and just hit the spots that are left over. Alright guys, now we have let that sit for a couple minutes. And now those spots are pretty much gone. So that's three coats. Actually two coats. And then on the third one was a spot check. So spray your first coat on. Get up there, watch you a couple, two or three TikTok videos. Rinse it off. Do your second coat couple TikTok videos, rinse it off, and uh, just hit the spots that are left on the third round, watch you a couple more TikTok videos, and let it roll, and I look at that, right there, that is much better than getting out here and scrubbing to get that mess off. Loads better. And like I said, the Dollar General brand works better and it works faster. I'm not very impressed with the works brand, but I am impressed at the same time because I didn't have to scrub nothing. This took me about 10 minutes and it's done. And you can go do the whole side of the boat at one time. You don't have to just do a small area like I did. Start at the back, spray it all the way down. And once it's sat for a couple minutes on the back, spray it off. So in 10 minutes, with little or no effort whatsoever, you can be nice and shiny. Then all you gotta do is come in, if you want a mirror finish, come in with your buffer and clean it all up real good. Now, I wouldn't suggest putting this on paint. I have heard that it works on gel coat and it doesn't hurt it, but I did notice uh, the first time I tried it, I sprayed it up on the top on the paint, just in a little bitty spot to, to check it, and it discolored my paint a little bit. It, it cleaned it very good, but it left a little bit of a blue sheen. Um, so it didn't hurt the paint, it just, I guess it's just got so much blue dye in it. It left a, a blue film behind. But there you go guys. Don't spend 70 $80 a gallon for aluminum boat cleaner. Go spend a dollar at Dollar General and go get you a bottle of toilet bowl cleaner. You're welcome guys. And always, get hooked, take a kid fishing. Went ahead and sprayed the rest of the boat. I started where we left off right there. Sprayed all the way to the end. And by the time I made it to the end, when I come back, now it looks like this. And this is just the first coat. Like I said, let it sit there for a couple minutes. By the time I made it to the end, back already looks like this. I'll give you an update in just a second. All right, guys, I had another video going, but it, I don't know, it just quit on me. All right, this is the second round. And something I think I figured out with this Works brand versus the Dollar General brand 
is if you let the works brand sit up there longer it'll work just like the dollar general brand when you spray that dollar general brand up there it kind of foams up like it foamed up on those areas it'll foam up on the whole thing um and i could tell it was working hard so i went on rinse it off after about a minute and, and it worked great this works brand like i said by the time i made it to the end the, the back side was pretty much gone and i have noticed if you let it dry on it the sun's beating hard you let it dry it'll kind of give you little streaks the residue don't just rinse right off so you have to go back and spray it again where the stuff dried on and then it comes right off there you go guys nothing special toilet bowl cleaner and I've been out here about 15 minutes maybe 20 with doing the video right, back off so y'all can see it good and there it is clean alright guys Y'all have a good one. If you like to fish or have kids or family that love to go fishing, stay tuned for future videos. And always remember, get hooked and take a kid fishing.